Mm. I wonder if you know this story because we were definitely friends. Um, Emily, I was I was helping my little sister move out of her apartment, and I brought my power drill, and I was taking out um, nails or whatever uh, nails. I don't That's know. Fine. I was I'll stuff, go with that stuff out. Yeah, I don't know what I'm this is a moron. Um, but I was taking stuff out, and I was getting I, something was like stripped, so I got close to it, and when I did it, my I had my hair in uh, braid pigtails. The vent swooped up my hair. And luckily, the, I'd, what saved my hair was that it was braided. So it just swooped up this part and then it stopped when it got to the braid. And my hair got swooped up into a power drill. There's actually oh a really funny video. Oh, it's ridiculous. So my sister's like, Wait, oh my sorry. God. Like, no, there's a really funny video of you. Oh, yeah, with my, my hair stuck in a power, power drill. Oh, great. I want to see oh, yeah. that. So basically, um, my hair got swooped up. My sister, me and my sister are freaking out. She's like, oh my God, should we cut it? I was like, no, because it's probably wrapped around the coils. Let's pull apart the power drill. So we couldn't get it out ourselves. So we looked up a hardware store and I walked three blocks to a hardware store with a, with a power drill stuck to it. We were laughing, but I was like horrified at the same time. And then I remember going to the guy and I was like, I'm going to give you the best story that you're going to be able to tell your wife today. And he goes, what's that? And I just let go of my hand and a power drill was hanging. And I was like, can you take this apart so it's not attached to my hair? And he goes, okay. And he takes a, he takes a chair. I'm sitting in the middle of a hardware store and he starts unscrewing the power drill. Oh. And then it was wrapped around. And so we saved about, I would say, maybe like two thirds of my hair because we were able to unwrap it around the thing. But I lost like a huge chunk of it. He was like, do you want this power drill back? I was like, it's a gift. I was like, I gave him $20 and I gave him a power drill. I was like, you can, I don't never want to see this again. But it like truly thinned out my hair. I told my sister, this side is always, this side always has less hair. I feel like it never grew back. I feel like it's never going to be as thick. I think she it's in your head. I think it's real. I would have just cut my hair at that point, but I have a much less aversion to cutting my hair than you do. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like cutting my hair. Oh, uh, keep oh, in mind. Was I the guy like unscrewing, like three months. was the guy unscrewing a power drill like as if this was just everyday shit he had to do? Like, oh, this again. All right, just come here. He, he <laughs> smiled, but for the most part, he treated it like it was super normal. And that was my favorite part. He was That's just great. like, customers would come in and he'd be like, nails are in the back. Like, just like, not like, Look at this dumb girls thinking. Mm-hmm. I imagine power. like some girl comes in after you with like a table fan stuck in her hair. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just girls stay in the kitchen. We've told you this over and over again. <laughs> no, I really set women back with that one. Um, but it was probably one of the funniest moments with me and my sister. Where like I was like truly like I was like all proud of myself. I was helping her take apart this thing, and in the middle of it, we had to go to almost like a hair doctor appointment at a hardware store. <laughs> 